one thing about balance is all about being the water. You feel me? Be in the water. Oh shit. I'm the water. <laughs> Don't fall out now. Wait, Don't slip. You're slipping on your pimping. Yo, King Kiron here, and you know what we're doing. We hiking with rappers. Yeah, and we got a special guest today. Yes, we do. Well, come check this out. All set. Let's see what he's doing right here, man. Uh oh. My dog, what's there you that? There go. What's up with what's you, up? my G? With, my boy? Okay, with the dude. jewels, you know. Yeah. The sun's out. The sun's out, so we gotta let it. We gotta. We gotta get the sun the same energy. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, gotta let it pop. Exactly. Look, go to the mirror. Check yourself out. You looking nice. Got your Tims on. Yeah, you know I got the beef and brocks. Just looking crazy and nice and they good setup. Too. I like the beef and brocks. Okay, yeah, I got it on. All right, boy, let's go hike then. Let's go. So if I would have told you, you know, back when you were younger, when you were doing the, the Whitney Houston music video, yeah. when you were on set right there, if I would have told you that you would be who you are right now, what would you would have said? I would have said, yeah, you're right. I had just seen Whitney Houston and Bobby Brown, so like, it wasn't nothing like nobody could tell me. I was nine years old. And if you pay attention to the video, I got a lot of airtime out of the kids. Yeah. So what was it like being with them? You know, being that young and being amongst all that star power, did you know looking at them like, this is what I want right here. I want all these people around me, all these people yeah. attending to me. By Brian, I ain't gonna lie, he was down to earth. He was like shaking our hands, being cool with us. Yeah. Just making us comfortable, like, what's up, look? Like yeah. how your uncle would be. Yeah. And Whitney, the same thing. She wasn't standing off, but she was giving us hugs and letting us know we're doing a good job and to continue mm -hmm. to go on. So like, that's what helped me kind of mold me too, like to be humble. I take all my pictures without everybody that asks me, even when I don't want to. Mm -hmm. It's just cause like that first impression you leave on somebody that look up to you, it be mattering, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So it started, you just want to take over Gwinnett County. Yeah, when you first start, you just want to take over your area. The people that's really important to you is the people that's around you, your mm -hmm. peers. You take that over, right. and then you get a tweet from Gucci. Yeah, who are? How did that feel, man? Cause man, that's a legend, that's an ATL. Trap legend, legend period, rap legend. You know, you know what we go, man. You gotta get respect, respect, mm -hmm. dude. So when did you know that your reach was outside of Atlanta? I was incarcerated. Mm -hmm. They played me Drake on the song. That's when I knew it was over. Oh, you didn't even know Drake was on Versace? I heard he was gonna get on it because you know I'm talking through a phone, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then I heard that verse. And then I was like, oh man, it's over with. We going, we going to the moon. I was sitting in the cell thing, right? And a, and a guard was doing count. And he was singing this Versace while he was doing the count. Oh, no, dog. And I had not told nobody in there what was going on. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because I didn't want to seem like I'm on some lame shit online on some. Yeah. It wasn't their business. You know, when you locked up, everybody act like they somebody. Yeah, they act like somebody be a whole lot of cap, fake yeah. stories. So I never told them. But when he did that, and he was counting, singing a song, I'm like, oh yeah, it's over. Oh, it's over. It's over. Yeah. We to the moon. Yeah. We both yeah. same boat, same boat. Trouble, you know, with, with the laws early in our careers. And then now, you know, things are starting to become steady. What was that mindset change for you like? First and foremost, even before I was married, like my kids and like just, just accepting the fact that like I'm in a real blessed position to be making money and doing something that I love taking it for granted, being wild, it don't be worth it. At the end of the day, like you gotta grow up and mature and like being in trouble humbles you and makes you appreciate things more and see a bigger vision. Like I think, like I have no regrets with that. I think that I went through the bump my head stage as a as young and like getting in trouble. So, cause I had to learn some way. Our generation, our neighborhood, we don't really have old G's and big dogs. just like giving you the guidance or giving you the game on what's like on like, the right things or how to move. So I'm glad I bumped my head and then during those times, man, I used to hate the fact that my name was attached to that. Yeah. And so I really worked hard to like clean my act, clean myself up and get more involved in my children's life and be a great father to them. You got Jordan. Yeah. Cody. Yeah. Kalia. Yes. Culture. Yes. Wade. Exactly. What do those five names mean to you? Man, 
the angels. It's like my 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 lifeline. It's like my heartbeat. And like just having my beautiful kids and I can take care of them. You know, growing up, I ain't had that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I see that. My, your father wasn't in your life. Yeah, I met him when I was 27. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And the importance of growing up with a, 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 a father in place, you can really shape and mold and help the kids to go into the right direction better than, you know, just one single parent home. Yeah. And like, my kids look up to me so much, bro. I can catch them. I could be sitting outside and I would just catch them staring at me through a window, all of them, all five of them. Yeah. And it's like, I know how much of a inspiration I am to them, so I watch my step and watch how I move. I try mm -hmm. not to get into anything, but my main focus is to please them and make sure they got a check for real, for real. Yeah. When they 30. So check this out. We got these challenges. You know, challenges. Your boy, yeah, your boy. I like challenges. Okay, cool. Well, your boy got some challenge cards. You gonna pick one card, and whatever you pick, that's what we gonna do. Come on, what you got? What you got? Hit dice. Balance board. Who you, you wanna go first? You going first? I wanna see what your timing is, so I can make sure I beat it. Okay, bet. Balance. See, uh, one thing about balance is all about being the water. You feel me? Be in the water. Oh shit. I'm the water. <laughs> Don't fall off now. Oh, yeah. Don't slip. You're slipping on your pimping. I'm the, I'm, you're, you're slipping. I'm the, oh, there it is. Okay, how long that was? That was about three minutes. Nah, that was about, that was about, that was about, that was about 17 seconds. <laughs> that was for sure about three minutes. I give you about 17 seconds. That's okay, okay, okay. Boom. Um, I gotta get my setup right. You know what I'm saying? First of all, you got the chain on the side of your. I think it's uh, balancing you better than nah, me. Nah, I'm just having flavor, and I'm balanced. I'm balanced at all times. You see what I'm saying? I don't fold under pressure. It just it just happened this way. I can talk to you while I do this. I can look at you while I do this. I can text on my phone while I do this. You see what I'm saying? This ain't nothing. It's just you know you gotta have balance. How long has it been? Way past your time, and I can squat on it. What we what we talking about though? Okay, cool. We get back up. We still ain't fail. I'm just saying we could be here all day if you want to. All right, good job. You, you, you did. What, you gonna style on me now? That's what you gonna do? I had to give a little finale. You've transitioned so much from rap to you got esports going on. You big with the gaming. Yes, sir. You know, tell us about that. What's up with that? What's up with Esports, man. Esports, man. Just like it, the community is full of positivity. It's a whole lot of people that play the game. It's no age group, age range on it. Bro, I know kids that. Never went to college. They didn't go to college. They went to high school and they making more money than a teacher. For sure. Or Big a police money. officer playing the game and getting people to stream and to donate to see because the community is so engaged in the game. And you got people that just literally go to YouTube and watch people play the game. They don't even play the game. And then they'll sell out an arena like we'll sell out an arena for a concert. That's why I rock with esports because it's like it's an open lane for everybody. There ain't no judging. Mm -hmm. You could be 30 years old on the game. Anybody gonna be like, why you on the game? Or it's a real positive community and it's like it's big. Like it's own music's ass, really. Yeah. They selling out arenas and stadiums. So what's the most adventurous thing you ever did? I was in New Jersey at the American Mall and they got this slide. It's like the biggest slide supposedly in the world, like 149 feet. And you did that? And I did it. And, and you can't even like push yourself in. It's like they put you in a little thing and the floor just move and you just go down to it. Okay, well this ain't no slide, but this is a zip line. Okay. This go big or go home. You gonna do this? I love all the challenges. I can't back down. Too many people watching. Okay. Can't go out like that. All right, well get us strapped in. Where, where they at? Get us strapped in. Take the governor off. <laughs> So what's up with that vest? Is that drip? This is drip, actually. This is hardware. So you drip. fucking with it? I would wear this with a hoodie. You go to the thrift store and catch some of the craziest shit in there, though. Make so you tell me, if, if I drop you in the, in the thrift store, you coming out drip out? I'm coming out dripped out. We saw the backwards way. 
pull this box out to your freezer again? All right, let's do it. Okay. Five. Let's go. Oh, that's what y'all gonna do? Oh! You know. Oh. Yeah, y'all tried to go when y'all said in five. I see what y'all tried to do. It's all good though. Player made it through. My dog, how that felt? That was cool. That was, that was a vibe. That was a little vibe. thrill, little thrill, little chill. Well, yeah, man. Well, look, you did your thing. You know, you hiked with me. Yes, sir. We had a dope interview. Yes, you sir. got done with two things. So, guess what? You're going to get this gold medal right here from Hiking with Rappers, man. I get the gold medal, man. I completed all the tasks, man. You did your thing. You did your thing. Champion. Shh. Can we cuss? Yeah, you curse. Go ahead. Championship. Yeah, cut into that. Championship. Yeah, Championship. you got to be the champion. Number one. All my work is platinum, but gold is the highest we get, so we're gonna, we gonna have that. Thank y'all, man, for having me. I appreciate you for coming through, bro. Shout out to Complex. Yes, sir. I love what y'all doing. That's your call I'm right up out of here. Go I'll holler at you. All right, man. I'll see you around. All right. That damn offset. Well, look, I'm about to zip line again, so hook me, boy, up. Yeah. I want everybody in Gwinnett County to know who I am. <laughs> Damn, you all right? All right, bro. Yeah. Sorry, guys. For nah, you good, you good, you good, you good, you good, you good. Welcome to Hiking with Rappers. Sound <laughs> man just fell. <laughs> Watch that. Thank God he didn't roll. Ooh-wee.